True love is not forcing things. Love is self-sufficient. Love looks after itself. It is not what you can do. It is not what they expect you to do. It is just being yourself. When someone loves, he loves because he feels that that's how he's supposed to be. He does not need you to try becoming nice, to try doing things, to try inventing things so that love can exist. Love exists by its own. Our God is love and our God has no definition. The same way love has no definition. Love appears the way you bring it forth. It can come as merciful. It can come as joyful. It can come as helpful. It can come as supportive. It is self sufficient. When Jesus left this earth, he said, I leave you with one commandment, love. Do you know why he said, love be the commandment? When you're in love, you are controlled by yourself. But when you're not in love, you're controlled by the things that have put you in that position you are in. Meaning if those things are not there, you are going to go astray. You are going to do as you please. But as long as they are giving you what you want, the love will be there. But if you don't receive what you want, you will stop loving. Some people are saying today that my husband, my wife used to love me, but now he does not love me. It was not love in the first place. It was just a lust. Now it is no longer there because what made it be there is no longer there. So love is something that can't be defined. It is something that is there because it's supposed to be there. That's why they say we are meant to be. Time is always in line with love. So love is not something that you force on someone. It's not something they tell you to do. It is something that comes out of you. When you get born again, you being a child of God, walking with Him, it is all about love. And you don't need to learn everything in order to love. You just need to be in love in order to learn these things automatically. They come naturally because your heart is open to receive. When you're in love, you're ready to learn. When you're in love, you're ready to give. When you're in love, you are fair. When you're in love, everything works in line. So why is he giving us a commandment of love? Love will always guide us. It will keep us from selfishness. It will keep us from ourselves. Love is not about self. It's about giving. It is about the person who you are giving. So from today, if you are not sensing love where you are, start asking the Lord, is it you who brought me into this place? If you are not sensing love at a place of work, is it God? If you're not sensing love in the so-called marriage, there are very many people who are in marriages today, but the so-called marriages are just partnerships because there is no love. When intimacy leaves the home, then love has left the home because intimacy walks in hand in hand with love. Even when you're worshiping, you worship in intimacy. So this is the time you should know that love must be involved. From today, if you don't monitor love, in a so-called relationship, if everything is about you, you're always giving, always giving, and nothing is coming back. You're always trying to reach that person. You're always trying to reach those people. You're always trying to make things happen. That is not love. That is a struggle. The Bible says, my servant shall not strive. Keep away from striving. Wait for love. A love that is waited for will never be regretted because you've taken your time to monitor and know that truly you are walking in love. Seek the Lord so that you can be able to detect where true love is because that's where your destiny is tied.